Hey, what's going on guys? Logdadzip here. Alright, I know why you're here. We both know why you're here. Infinite flight, you say, huh, Tyler? I do. Well, with some stipulations. We're gonna get into that in just a second. But first of all, let me show you where we are. Oh, it's beautiful. We're super high up in the air. In fact, we're pretty much at build height. You know, technically up there is build height. But don't worry about that. It's not a big deal, man. I'm telling you. What we're gonna do is fly all the way on down to the ground floor here. So I can show you how we're gonna get back up to the top of that tower using only two objects. One being our dear friend, the Elytra, and our other being our dear friend, the bow with punch two. Now the rest of that's extra, and as you can see, that's actually a really great bow. But technically the only two stipulations you need for this tutorial are an Elytra and a bow with punch two. That's it. So it is kind of end game. You have to be able to get an Elytra. Although technically you could get an Elytra without killing the Ender Dragon if you want to get one sooner. Ooh, I've got a tutorial about that on my channel as well. I'm going to link in the description. Yeah. But you'll need that and you'll need a bow with punch two. Has to be punch two. Infinity's bonus. Unbreaking on both of them, manning on both of them, it's bonus. It's just going to make your tools last longer, you know. But technically, all you need is punch two. If you don't have infinity, you're also going to need a bunch of arrows and you're also going to need a bunch of food. Before we go any further though, my friends, I want to say this is not a new idea by any means, using yourself as a little punching bag to launch yourself, but I was inspired by Bojangles8 for this idea, for this video, so you can check out his video linked in the description, as well as a link to his channel if you want to check out his videos as well. With that though, I want to let you know, if you want to be efficient about this, the way to do it is not going to be to start on ground level. It's much harder. If you really want to make it super easy and work almost instantly, just build up like five blocks. You just need to build up like probably, just find a tree, you know, get to the top of the tree, okay? And then you'll be able to do this instantly. But because I want to show you that you can do it, because I said you could, I'm gonna tell you how you can get it from ground level as well. But before you do that, you should leave a like on this video. Yeah, I'm gonna sell it. If you want to see more like survival, like kind of stuff like this. Anyways, with that, we're gonna go to F5 mode. It's much easier to do it this way. If you've noticed in Minecraft 1.9, if you wear an Elytra, you can sometimes engage your flight even just from bouncing around if you time it properly. And if you are very good and you sprint at the same time whilst doing this, you can kind of get a little bit, you see? We got, we got a good bounce going, baby. Now, you use this in conjunction with the bow that has punch two, and if you angle it just right, and for some people it's going to be easier to do in first person mode, but if you angle this just right, you can punch yourself with your bow. Did you see that? There we go. We almost, we're almost there, baby. Like I said, it's a lot harder to do it this way, but want to prove it's possible. Now this might take me a little bit, so hold on. Oh, come on. I want to get this. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay. So, I'm about to give... Ein! There we go. The idea... No, oh, I'm running out of space again! This is the worst! I hate this fence! It's in my way! Look at this! It's embarrassing. It's awful. So, we're on a piece of wood now. And I'm gonna show you how much... Just It's just way easier. Like, this is gonna be instant. So, angle yourself... Oh, I don't know what I just said. That was funny sounding. Angle yourself at about a 45 degree angle. And then just as lightly as you can. I missed! I'm gonna get! Just shut up! Shut up! It's not a big deal, okay? We're still not even that high up in the air. You just... You see? I'm like only five blocks up, so I don't want to hear it. This is what you gotta do. Oh, oh I'm in creative mode. Worst guy. This. This is what you gotta do. Did you see it? You missed it. Of course you missed it, because I'm stupid and I had the stupid thing paused. Sit at about a 45 degree angle, and then just use the bow to launch yourself. Hold it for just the smallest amount of time possible to hit yourself, and then right after you hit yourself, you'll be able to gain vertical momentum. You'll be able to rise up a lot higher than you normally could be able to. Like, check it out. We're already at 45. We started technically at zero. Now, it takes a little bit of practice, and you technically can use it on the upward slope as well, but it's a lot easier just to sit at about this height and then just hit yourself. Now, the faster you do it after you strike yourself, <laughs> the more effective it's gonna be. Now, it's, it's kind of hard to place the bow off, man. Because if you if you let off too soon, you won't even fire a bow you know, or an arrow. Man, I'm just tripping all over my words right now. This is bad. Now, if you're a true failure, you'll actually land again. But I'm not a failure. Dang it! I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. It's because I'm trying to stay... You see? I'm trying to stay within the great garden. I, if I could just fly straight, this would be way easier. You see what I mean? Now I'm striking myself like it's no business. No business. 
We're almost already there. But yeah, that was kind of the point. You just kind of need a punch bow. You see, I actually prefer doing it this way. Oh, you know why? It's because I got the 32 render on. Man, literally, that's the reason. It was messing with my tick speed, so I couldn't... Man, that, that makes me feel a lot better. Watch, I'll crush it now from now on. Check this out, check this out, check this out. You see what I mean? Okay, so make sure your render distance... <laughs> make sure you're not lagging, essentially. Because that was just... That was just embarrassing. And if you're going too fast, you won't actually hit. You won't hit. So it only works at a certain speed. Typically, you'll go down, glide a little bit, you know, gain momentum. You really don't need to look like a pincushion. Like me, this is kind of embarrassing, to be honest. You can kind of just glide. Just hit yourself maybe one arrow every couple, you know, whatever it may be. And again, you can technically hit yourself going upwards on the upwards ascent. Significantly harder. And all you really need to do is just hit yourself going down. At, at about a 45 degree angle, as I said, or again, depending on speed a little bit. I hold my sprint button down because I actually get slightly faster speed. You can do that on horses. You can do that really anything. If you have your sprint button, instead of just pressing double forward, you can sprint. And it makes you go faster. So I sprint when I do this, and I sit at a little bit less than a 45 degree angle. Sometimes I suck. Man, it's bad. Anyways, we're going to get back to the top of this. We're going to make quick work of this again. Just right at the perfect spot. You just gotta know. Again, for me, it's gonna be in this mode. I can just time it nicer. So, to each their own. Come on now. Yes! We're getting right on up to the top there, baby. And uh, in terms of the video, that's um, that's pretty much it. I mean, I want you to see me get to the top so that you know I'm not lying about it. Why you always lie? I'm not lying. I'll get there. But thank you so much to Bojangles8 for the inspiration to make this video. I thought it was actually super useful. Now that Minecraft 1.9 is officially out, you know, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be interested in tutorials on how to get, you know, to better places and the easiest way to do it. Again, if you want to see how you can get an Elytra without even killing the Ender Dragon first, find that video on my channel as well. And uh, other than that, get to the top already. Come on. This is bit. Yes. Good. The more you hit yourself with, if you hit yourself with like two in a row, you'll actually go significantly higher than if you just hit yourself with one. You see? Like, look at this upwards momentum. I look like the stupidest man with this pin cushion body. Now get up here, and now we can end the video. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Have a great day. Leave a like if you enjoyed, learned something, or you're going to end up using this on your world. Again, check out Bojangles' link in the description, and subscribe to me as well. Have a great day. We'll see you later. I am bleeding from every hole in my body.